It was recently brought to my attention that when you mix Coca-Cola and milk together, it immediately starts to curdle. Then it will separate and after a little while it will clarify the Coca-Cola. This is the result that I got after 30 minutes and now after 24 hours this is what it looks like. As most people may think this is completely gross and disgusting, I think it is amazing. You may not know it by now, but I have a thing for milk clarified cocktails. This is a technique that we use to clarify a drink using milk, because when you bring the pH to the milk to a more acidic level, it will curdle. In the process, it will trap some flavor components, some tannins and colors. You'll be left out with a completely different cocktail, crystal clear with an amazing mouthfeel. What you probably don't know though, is I have a hate thing for Long Island iced tea. When you work at a bar, you're in the middle of the rush and you get an order for Long Island, you know this person only wants to get smashed as fast as possible. But that's freaking 8 ingredients. There's fast a way to get smashed fast, like 3 ounces of Jack Daniel with lemonade will do the trick just fine. So when you're in a rush, it's a pain in the you know what to make that cocktail. That's the reason why I hate it. But if we go back to the milk and Coca-Cola thing, it actually gave me an idea. It may be the coolest and at the same time the stupidest idea that I've had for this channel. We're gonna try and test side by side a classic Long Island with a clarified one. In fact, I'm so excited about today's episode that we're gonna skip the intro and we're gonna dive right into it. Let's go. So we're gonna start with a clarified version. We're gonna make a big batch, gonna understand why later. So for that, you're gonna need a large glass vessel. We're gonna start with three ounces of vodka. Again, three ounces of gin, three ounces of tequila, three ounces of light rum, and lastly, three ounces of orange liquor. Usually we're gonna go for a triple sec or a Cointreau. I only have a dry Curacao. It's gonna work, it's gonna taste orange. That's what we want. Now we need to sweeten this up a little bit. We're gonna add one ounce and a half of simple syrup. And to balance that sugar, three ounces of freshly squeezed lime juice. We're gonna set that aside and now in another container, we're gonna pour eight ounces of Coca-Cola, on top of which we're gonna add one ounce of whole milk. We're gonna pour the Coke and milk mixture over the cocktail, give a little stir and set that aside for 30 minutes. So now it's time to filter it. So you're gonna need a coffee filter, a funnel and obviously a bottle. As you may have noticed, I'm using my soda stream bottle because you get it, we're gonna re-put some gas into it to make it fizzy as it should be. So now you're gonna pour your mixture over the coffee filter. The first few drops will be cloudy and that's normal. What you will do is you're gonna wait for 30 seconds, then you're gonna take those cloudy bits and you're gonna re-pour it over your unfiltered mixture and then all the single drops that's gonna come out should be crystal clear. This may take a little while because we have a lot to go through, so if you wanna speed that up, you can use different bottles and then once you're done, just gonna put that all together into the soda stream bottle. Once you're done with the filtration, what you will do is gonna add two ounces or 60 ml of filtered water. This is gonna act as our dilution because we're not gonna shake the cocktail afterward. We're simply gonna close the bottle and put it in the fridge until it gets cold because you need cold liquid when you wanna carbonate it. So I decided I would prep this cocktail one night before so I could place the bottle in the fridge overnight in order to make sure it would be ice cold when it comes the time to carbonate it. So now we're ready, we're gonna take it out of the fridge, we're gonna place it in the machine and guys, this is when this may have become the stupidest idea I've ever had for this channel. When I pressed play, when I input some gas into the cocktail, it leaked and I lost half of it. I knew that using sweet liquid in a soda stream may tend to explode or to leak, so I tried to go safe and I only pressed the medium input, but that was too much anyway. 
I know it sucks, but don't worry guys, I've made some tests already for the perfect amount of sweet liquid in a soda stream bottle to prevent you making a mess. If you want to replicate the recipe at home, I'm going to write it in the recipe in the description down below. But thankfully I had enough in my bottle left, so I'm going to close it, place it in the fridge while we make a classic Long Island to compare them side by side. So in a cocktail shaker, we're going to pour three quarters of an ounce of vodka. Same amount of gin. Same amount of Blanco tequila. Three quarters of an ounce of light rum. Three quarters of an ounce of orange liqueur. Do you guys start to understand why I hate making this cocktail? Half an ounce of simple syrup. and three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. So now we're gonna fill our shaker with ice and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds. and we're gonna fine strain it over ice in a highball. And then we're gonna add just enough Coke to change the color and make it look like an iced tea. That's what the recipe calls for. And then we're gonna garnish it with a lemon wheel and a straw. And this is it guys, this is how we make the classic Long Island iced tea. Now for the clarified one, all we have to do left is to place some beautiful clear ice into eyeball. Take our bottle out of the fridge and simply pour it over it. And for the garnish, a lime wheel, just like that. And this is it, guys. This is how we make the clarified Long Island. So now, let's taste them side by side. <laughs> this is not bad, actually. It's a little sweet for my liking. It's really strong, but it's not bad. You taste the orange for the dry curacao. There's a good kick of booze. It's refreshing with the lemon juice. The Coca-Cola is really there only to give the color and a little more sugar. There's no fizz because there's not enough. So I have the feeling I will like this one even better. Cheers. Hmm. Taste is actually quite similar. Usually when we clarify a cocktail with milk, it has a strong impact on the flavor. It really smoothens the rough edges of the booze, which actually needs to be done in this case because we have quite a lot of booze, but you still taste it. We get a little bit of the orange still, we get a good punch of booze, but it's mellower. The acidity is there, it's really well balanced, and even though there's more coke in this recipe than in this one, it is not as sweet. In my opinion, it is more balanced. I like the fact that we're using lime as well, it has a kind of a more uh, floral taste than the lemon that I really enjoy. It goes really well with the rum and the tequila. For me, rum and tequila always calls for lime, so I think it's better suited for this cocktail. Mm. 
I actually like this one. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. And tell me in the comments down below, which one do you prefer? Cheers.